Windows 11 is one of the best operating systems you can use today and with the 24H2 update, it has gotten even better. My name is Hadullah, you're watching Canada Technology and if you haven't gotten the 24H2 update yet, here is how you can get it. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, go to Windows Update. So press Windows key plus I to open Windows Settings. Click on Windows Update right here and just click the Check for Updates button to check if you have an update available. If you don't see anyone, any updates, you can click uh, this option. So this is the get the latest update as soon as they're available. Make sure that this toggle is enabled and then check for updates again. Uh, 24S2 had an issue where it was breaking some USB ports on computers. So Microsoft actually paused the rollout. So there is a good chance that you may still have to wait a couple of weeks before you can actually get the update. Uh, so if your PC tells you that you're up to date, and you're pretty sure that you support the 24H2 and still want to force an update, there is an alternative which we can use by editing the registry. So press Windows key plus R to open the run prompt. And in here, we are going to type regedit and hit enter. Give it the permissions that it needs. Now, what we are going to do is uh, head over to a particular registry directory. I will provide uh, this in the description below so you'll be able to find it now uh, as you can see this may not completely uh, open up on your system so you may have to create some folders here so let's see uh, local machine uh, software policies so local machine software policies then microsoft then windows and you should be able to see a windows update each uh, folder here if you don't see any folder that's quite all right we just right click click on new and then click on key uh no wrong I'm not going to make it under any folders so just right click windows click on new and then click key and we're going to call this windows update make sure that you don't change the case of anything that we're using here all right now that we have the windows update key we need to create a few string values so right click new string value uh, we are going to name this uh, product version and double click it value data will be windows 11 then create new another string value we're going to call this target release version info uh, all of this is going to be in camel case double click this to open and this is going to be 24h2 okay now we're going to create a d word 32 bit value and i'm going to set this to target release version and then double click and change value data to one and that's it now you can restart your system and check for windows update again and you should see an update to 24x2 available if you like this video consider subscribing give us a thumbs up press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such videos can we make for you if you'd like to know more about tech visit our website candid.technology follow us on social media follow me on instagram or twitter and we'll see you in the next video